Hey guys, Noah here, back in my video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the EVGA RTX 2060 KO Ultra. Now I'm not going to um, show the box because it has, you know, my info on it. But, like the new egg box. But, I so I do have white gloves on. I mean, they're not really medical, but it's something because of the current pandemic going on. So, going to... Open it. And then... Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I was worrying because on the website it said it was in another city. And I was like, I don't know. If it's here. But here we go. Now this thing... A little overkill from doing 1080p... 144 hertz gaming. Um, like, oh, we don't need that much power. But it's got ray tracing. It's almost as good as a 1070 Ti. So here we go. Now, I did have a EVGA card before. The 1660 SC Ultra. Which is pretty much... It looks exactly the same. So um, it's a little heavy because I have a case on. Okay. So, here it is. Looks nice. Now we're going to open it. So, I'm going to do like, I'm gonna do part of the video where I do the installation. I'm going to unbox this. It's going to be all one video. I'm going to unbox it, show it, and then I'm going to, like, put it in my computer, put that part in the video, you know. So, hopefully I have a good angle for that. I'm just trying to be careful here. That, uh, no, I think that's it. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to be careful. I might take off the gloves because they're so slippery. And I want to drop this. This is, uh, this was on sale. It was $3.20 on sale for $3.05. So that's not bad. Pretty cool. There we go. Here it is. So we set that there. <sighs> okay, I'm really excited because I've been—I had to sell my graphics card, my 1660, to get this, and I've been gaming off integrated graphics. So, um, not the best experience, I'll tell you that. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend you game on integrated graphics because, uh, yeah, it's not really good. I like—I like the packaging. You know, they really. I love EVGA products. You know, they're high quality. They uh, have good packaging. And they, yeah, they really care. So, where's that knife I had? There we go. Slap that right there. Here we go. Look at that. Really nice. I'm going to gently... I'm just going to take off the, the gloves... <laughs> I know I'm trying to, you know, be safe, but I don't want to drop this. I paid, you know, good money for it. I don't, you know, the packaging, okay, I don't, I can put my gloves back on it and put that back. I'm going to keep the box, obviously, because it's a computer box, you know. So here we go. Now, I know I've been making a lot of videos, and I apologize. I've been, you know, college has, uh, they put a lot of assignments on you, and it's almost the end of the quarter or semester whatever so um you know i just don't want to do bad just gotta get this stupid sticker out so i'll uh get rid of that and then i'll uh do this i'm gonna show it off and then put it in my computer Okay. Now the Precision X1 is the software that Oh, this is cold. Oh, uh, this is cold. Okay. I wish they put the protective stuff. But there's this like sticker. I'm going to try to get this on microphone here. Let's see. Just 
because people like that, I guess. Okay. I'm going to list the specs. Uh, some of them, not all, because I don't really know about the boost and whatever clock speeds. But they're good, okay? So this is a 2060. Uh, pretty much beats the 1070, and the 1070 is a good card. So this should be able to do VR just fine. I don't have a VR headset. So we have, uh, I believe, a display port. Or, yeah, display port, HDMI 2.0, I think, and DVI, and an 8 pin power connector thing there, PCIe power right there. So it has six gigs of um, GDDR6 uh, memory, six gigs VRAM, you know. So that should be enough. Like every game I have, I have Monster Hunter, uh, some Ubisoft games. So that's pretty much it now. I'm going to put in the computer. Hey guys, I'm gonna put it in now. So, does it have any um, protectors for the uh, ports? Like HDMI display port, I'm not using my headset. So hopefully I sound decent. So I have a Elgato right there, you can see. I'm just gonna put that uh, right underneath and it has, I'm gonna try to get a close up on here. There we go. Set that back. Just want to get a good camera angle here. There we go. I already have my thing hanging out, the PCIe power. You might see my face. I don't know, but whatever. I don't care. Oh, wait. I forgot the duh. Take out. We have a uh, this thing. That would be helpful if I took that out. <laughs> So, okay, we're going to put this in now. Just a PCIe. And then we're going to clip it in. There we go. That is now. I might do the part. So, it's in right now. I'm going to do the PCIe cable last. Because I have to plug in my HDMI, display port, all that stuff. So, I'm going to hop back around real quick. So now I'm going to put in this thing, the covers up all the PCIe slots. So I just got to maneuver that. There we go. And I have to stand up real quick so I can put all the screws in. There we go. There's two first. Probably get a screwdriver for this, but whatever. Don't got one. I don't have one. Actually, I have a small one, but I don't think it's enough to fit. Um, I think I keep that's normal, and then. There's another one right here. Let me see if I have a screwdriver. Why? I thought I had one. Guess not. You have to do these ones first before you do the one that connects all of them. So, it's going to take a little bit. I know you guys can't really see it, but it is working. Now on the floor there, my setup's not that good. It's a little messy. Um, but... It was just temporary. So now, these, I think these go right here, yeah. Yep. And the last one, come on. There we go. There, and it's in. I'll have to check that later, make sure it's all good. But just for the video's sake, it's in. 
Now we have our two cables. Uh, so we have HDMI. Yeah, and then we got display port. So these guys. What is this? Oh, that's my GameCube. Okay. Forgot. So these go right in here. This one can go. I think in this one. Yep, that's all in. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna do the PCIe. Okay, this part's easy. You just take this, plug it in. Yeah. It's kind of hard because it's not like. Here, I'll, I'll move this forward. There, that's in. <sighs> now I'm tired now. Okay. Now I'm going to um, put up my computer real quick. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. I made it yellow because I have a cyberpunk-themed uh, wallpaper. So, they're both on. Well, this one should be on at least. That's good. And this one's 144 hertz. This one is 60. So, yeah. Turn off my light here. There. Okay. Move some stuff. Okay. Boot in my thing. Don't look. Obviously. Here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to have to, like, download some drivers here, I believe. But... Yeah, video. Yeah, I still have to download it. So we're gonna hop into close out my Discord here. We're gonna download uh oh now it's recognizing it. Both are working, I believe. Yep, there we go. So it's gonna t oh I think it got it. Yep, we got a control panel. I don't think I have to really download anything. There we go, as you can see. I can focus. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. I might do some gameplay with it. I'm not sure, but I don't know if you can tell between this and that. It's a lot more smoother. There we go. Really nice. And if we hop into um, close that out, hop into our, I guess, GeForce experience here. Um, I'm also going to sign in. Okay, I probably have to sign in. Oh, that's fine. We'll do that later. I'm not worried about that. So, it works. It's good. It's plugged in. Looks great. Let me focus. There we go. You guys can see. It's a little yellow uh, RGB thing going on there. Nice clean room. Okay. So, I guess this is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.